What's going on? You know it's your boy, Little T. Oh, man, for the fact you already know how I'm rocking, man. Hey, man, check it out, check it out, check it out. So we got that boy Keyshawn Johnson explains what it's like working with Skip Bayless on All the Smoke. And you know, I got to him, I forgot about All the Smoke. I ain't even gonna lie. I forgot all about this damn show. That was my first ever podcast show I was really watching. Misunderstood but by some. Uh, uh, respected in this space for for the, for his longevity in this space. What do you think is something getting a chance to work with him now that is is a misconception or 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 people may not get about Skip Bayless? Man, you know, I, I when I first took the job, Matt and Jack. To me, r- real quick before you go, what Skip to me is, bro. Skip, he he's an ultimate troller, bro. You feel me? He like the he like the six nine of of the of the sports industry type shit. He gonna say shit that gets you riled up. Oh oh, LeBron had a terrible game. Oh uh, shit, he did with Shannon. You feel me? Talking about Shannon, Tom Brady was better than Shannon. Like obviously we know that shit, but you feel me? Like he say shit that gets you riled up. But sometimes he just go too too overboard. Like he go too far ahead. That's what we fucking him up. Like he he a great troller. Don't get me wrong, he a great troller because some of the shit he be saying be crazy. Like when he be talking about um. What was he talking about? He was talking about something, bro, about football. I'm trying to think. Oh, like how he be with, like, with Dak. You, like, with Dak, like, all of a sudden, Dak, his favorite. Oh, yes, we got Dak Prescott. And then next minute, you know, oh, yeah, we need to trade Dak. And then he talked about Trey Lance. He need to start and shit like that. Shit that get us, like, nigga, what? Like, oh, we go, what? You feel me? So, he, he a troller, but sometimes he just go a little bit too overboard. But, yeah, man. People was like, Keyshawn gonna kill that dude. <laughs> but th- because they don't know me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? They, I can work with anybody. I walk in, work with anybody any given day at all. I right. said that. I was one of them. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> see, see, because he, because Jack I, know me differently. Too real. You know what I'm saying? But I also understand my paper. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Me. I'm you heard me. You fuck my money off with no stupid, silly shit. This right. shit is entertainment. You heard it's me. It's fun. That's all it is. It ain't personal. Right. You feel me? It ain't personal. Right. So to answer your question, you know, it's fun working with him. The man is a wealth of knowledge. He's been around for and a that's, long time. And that's why I think that fucked up with Shannon, though, because Skip took it personal. He started taking personal shots, and I think that's what fucked it up. If he never took them personal shots at Shannon, I think Shannon would still probably been on Undisputed. Um, but I think what people see in him is he's a 70-plus-year-old white man with blonde hair. And in the world that we live in, that's what we see, especially as black folk. We see that, and we go, okay. It's a white dude who's talking reckless about athletes all the time. I don't give a fuck about that. He just be but saying some dumb true. ass shit sometimes. You see what I'm saying? He ain't like that. Nah, but people, like yeah, that. I, I don't think like that. The stuff happened with Shannon, so it really went crazy. Mm-hmm. Everybody automatically assumed. Yeah, see, everybody was right. Everybody was like, oh, he's racist this day and the third. I don't think Shannon, I mean, I don't think Skip's racist, bro. I mean, I don't know the nigga personally, Wigger personally. But it's like, like I said, he just trolling. I think he just went a little bit too far with the trolling. That's that's all it was to me. Oh, this dude, he just wanted to get rid of Shannon. And nah, everybody I, that don't nah. know Skip. Don't, don't know Skip. Yeah. yeah. They don't know how it went down the way it went because they're not in the building. Right. right. They don't get all the information. You see what I'm saying? Once I got, because you know me, I'm going to ask. We've been in the building, so we yeah, know. I'm a, Matt, I'm going to ask. What the fuck happened? Tell me, <laughs> tell me the truth. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because I gotta work with you. Yeah. I need to know the truth. Yeah. Facts. I need to know what's happening at all points and times. Like I told him when I first sat down with him, I said, "Look, man, check this out. We sat in the backyard, nice out here in California, out at the beach. It was beautiful. Can't you, beat it. You can't beat it. Ain't Atlanta, you know? <laughs> ain't all freezing. Airport, airport ain't closing. Brown grass. Come to think of it, I don't know the last time LAX closed down ever. Yeah. I, that, that I know her. Ever. Yeah, but Atlanta, every time I start, from, <laughs> can't get out of Atlanta. But anyway, <laughs> when I sat down with him, I said, man, this, this, for me, there's only a couple things in my criteria working with anybody is I don't need no race, no racial bullshit at all, no homophobia, none at all. None. I don't need nothing slipping out, nobody's miles or nothing, and we good. If it ain't, if you, because I don't care about my career. I don't care that you. You you poke fun in my career or whatever you may you may say that Terrell Owens was better. That's cool, good. He got better numbers. He played longer. I could combat all that. Right. You see what I'm saying? As long as you don't say nothing out of pocket. Right. We ain't right. Got no right. 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 We ain't got none at all. We gonna work. We gonna be in this business as long as he wanna be in it with me. I'm gonna be in it with him, and we gonna rock. That's, right. That's the way I look at it. Plain and simple. You know. Uh, he recently said you were the first person he texts after the cowboy loss, or first person you were the first person to text him after the cowboy loss. I did the same thing. I did the same thing. Always. You didn't I, just text me. You text me about fifteen texts. <laughs> no. So so I'm I'm always with Mike. Me and Michael Irvin 
we watch the games on Sundays, you know, at the little sports bar or whatever. So I'm always with him. You know, I'm always catching him in, in awkward moments, take a picture of him, put it on social media. He's sitting there sweating, <laughs> biting his nails, looking crazy, right? Life or death still. Oh, man. One time, I'm trying to think, what game was it? Uh, it was a game they got their ass ran out the building. San Francisco? No, I wasn't saying. It was Buffalo. Okay. It was a Buffalo oh, yeah. Bill game. Mike, so I'm talking to somebody like I'm talking to y'all. Mike here. And I turn, and I told my boss, where did Mike go? And like, man, he just went out. So he thought he was being slick and tried to creep past the thing. So the way the sports bar set up, I can go to the window because it's open. And it's I took a up. picture of him trying to creep out. He saw me. <laughs> <laughs> so I checked this dude out trying to run. Then last week in the Green Bay joint, he came straight from NFL Network because the game started early. As soon as the show was over, the game started. So I text him. I'm going, y'all already down 10 nothing. The game hadn't even started. Oh, man, you, you shut up, man. Stop playing. So we get there like the middle of the second quarter. He got a suit on. He fresh. He look fresh out the cleaners, right? 27 nothing. Ooh. He done went. I'm looking for him at halftime. This joker done went and changed clothes. So I got him before yeah. and after <laughs> and put it on social media. Oh, people was killing him. Oh, it's some of the funniest. I done caught him in some crazy moments, man. They playing San Francisco. He's sitting there biting his nails at the bar. He's sitting there. He, he wasn't at our booth, right? He got up and went to the bar. And I had my little partner with me. And I sat over there. And zoomed in on him. He's sitting there going, why they get work? So I, like, I, ain't, I, I answer my phone. <laughs> you don't even yeah, I mess with Skip no all the time. Because he, he's such a passionate cowboy dude. Right. That, it's an easy target. Oh, yeah. It's a layup. Very easy target. Man, that's a layup. A yeah. <laughs> Very easy layup. Hey, man. That's going to do it for that boy Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah, like I said, man. I just feel like Skip just be trolling. That's about it. And he just went a little bit too far. But yeah, man, that's what we do for the video. Let me show y'all comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.